is up welcome back to my channel today's video is all about her natural her and <laughs> oh god I can already see where this is going so I wanted to share how I went from this to this in about a year and 10 months it'll officially be two years in January of next year and January is so close I can almost taste it yeah let me share with you guys my tips and tricks on how I basically grew my hair this long let me get into what my hair was like back then what my hair concerns were and what I wanted out of this whole thing so obviously I wanted to have long hair I straightened my hair, my hair previously was heat damaged and chemically damaged from relaxing and I had a really itchy dandruffy scalp, I had to use medicated shampoo otherwise I was very very unhappy, uh, my scalp was very unhappy with me so that was an absolute necessity. I never used to trim my hair, I never used to, basically it's neglect, I can add that to the list as well so uh, my hair is also fine and I have low porosity here so I mean that's a lot but I discovered these things over time I looked at a picture of myself from I think it was August of this year and I looked at my hair then and I looked at my hair now and I was blown away by the sheer length of my hair so I had to film this video as well. So let me get into what I, what my hair routine is. Okay, not my full routine, but what I did to get my hair here. Uh, I shampoo my hair once a week, as most curly, curly, curly girls do anyway. Uh, I do a deep, nourishing hair mask. It's a DIY, and this definitely took my hair. To a really quick healthy state uh, I will show you guys uh, what I put in next Okay, so that is the hair mask that I do and I did this about twice a week every week I noticed a significant change after the second time I used it after I washed it out I noticed how shiny my hair was um, the second time I do it I don't the first time I do it like I say I shampoo once a week I would wash it off with shampoo uh, anytime that I decided to do it on not a wash day I would wash it out with conditioner so find something that works for you but shampooing your hair twice a week is definitely a no-no so uh then i would put my hair in protective styling now protective styles is an exaggeration i did one protective style and it was two french braids on the side uh would braid it my uh, little braids would sit, sit around about on my neck and then i would pin it with bobby pins to my scalp and rock that most of the time this is what really saved me was investing in lace front wigs it gave me the confidence that i needed at the time it gave me a uh, list to do because i was thinking back on how i used to do my hair and i had to straighten it the night before and now i just protective style put my lace front wig on and then up the dough you know and that really at the time gave me the confidence that i needed and gave me enough time to figure out what my hair needed so there was a lot of trial and error a lot of experimentation but because of the lace one breaks I had the luxury 
of time to uh, play around with products as well. So uh, for any of you guys who are on the go, who are constantly busy, lace front braids can definitely save you. Uh, but you need to make sure that you are wearing the proper uh, hairstyle, protective hairstyle, making sure that you properly protect your hair with a, uh, a wig cap. You probably want to find one because I think there are satin wig caps out on the market today. So definitely look into that. Uh, satin pillowcases and satin scarves to sleep with at night really helped, uh, especially with the frizz. And I mean, for me, I noticed my hair was significantly drier the next day when I wouldn't use one. So definitely invest in that. And then. Uh, I got a spray bottle and this is really what helped. The combination of the deep uh, nourishing hair mask and the spray bottle with uh, filtered water and peppermint and rosemary essential oils. Just a couple of drops in that in my spray bottle really, really changed the game up for me. This is like uh, when I get up in the morning, I spray it on before I go to bed, spray it on whenever I feel I need a boost, spray it on. Uh, now I add in a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Some people use gel. So I put that with my essential oils and I think that this has definitely contributed to my scalp being as healthy as it is. And this happy, a clean scalp is a happy scalp. I'm like getting all tongue tied because I'm all excited. Uh, and then massaging my scalp. So this is what I use to massage my scalp. I will show you guys a close up uh, image of it. I got this when I was traveling in uh, Asia. Uh, I got this in Korea. It's made of like silicone. It's really nice and soft in my hair. I use it uh, in between. I use it to shampoo my hair. I use it to massage my scalp with essential oils and it gives you extra volume as well on your head. So this is a definite yes. Experiment. Have fun. The whole point is even though I was uh, relying on my lace front wigs, I was having fun with it. And that's what your journey should be. It should be fun. It should be experimentation. It should be you know, playing around with protective hairstyles. I wish I did that, but I, I still do. Um, it, it's supposed to be a fun journey. So uh, anyway, before I get completely off topic, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you take a lot of information from this. Uh, I mean, I knew if I could implement this right from the get-go, my hair would probably be significantly longer. So take what you will from my tips and use them as you will so that is the end of this video i hope that you guys loved it i'm going to i plan to upload more videos so anyway uh i had a lot of fun i am sending so much love from me to you have a fantastic day i will see you in my next video ciao damn do i talk too much i think i talk too much